Welcome back. Today we will discuss non homogeneous boson process. So, this non homogeneous boson process is like a generalization of uh, the boson process that we have been studying so far, which is the homogeneous boson process. So, if I do not say anything, it means homogeneous boson process, all right. So, here the rate lambda varies as a function of time. So, basically intuitively the instantaneous rate of the process varies as a function of time say some lambda t ok. The homogeneous case this lambda t is equal to some lambda which is strictly positive right. So, we assume that this uh, lambda t is uh, greater than 0 for all t ok, bounded away from 0 for all t. <coughs> so, the way this works is I will tell you how it is defined in a, in a minute. So, let us say this this is 0 this is time and let us say my lambda t is doing something like that right, let us say this is lambda t ok. Then the corresponding there will be more arrivals when lambda t is big and fewer arrivals when you know lambda arrival uh, la lambda t is small ok. So, here there will be lots of arrivals ok. <coughs> so, larger the lambda t more arrivals there will be around that t all right. In the homogeneous process of course, this is constant right. So, this non homogeneous boson process uh, apparently it has applications in uh, optical communications where you can control the intensity of the photons that you send out and, uh, and so on. Uh, it is a process which has independent increments, but not stationary increments ok. Uh, it is not even a renewal process really ok. So, it does not have uh, the inter arrival times are not independent identically distributed ok but it has the independent increment property, but not the stationary increment property ok. So, it is a counting process. Uh, so, n of t this guy is is a uh, non homogeneous boson process if it satisfies uh, in independence increment property and for some function lambda t bounded away from 0, we have a probability that n tilde t t plus delta equal to 0 is 1 minus lambda t delta plus little o delta probability that n tilde t t plus delta is equal to 1 equal to lambda t uh, delta plus little o delta and probability that n tilde t t plus delta is equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 2 is equal to little o delta ok. So, if you take some t and t plus delta, the probability that you have an arrival in that little t t plus delta is equal to lambda t lambda of t times delta plus little o delta and probability of having no arrivals 1 minus lambda t delta plus little o delta and more than 2 arrivals 2 or more arrivals has probability little o delta ok and it satisfies IIP. So, if I give you so, the arrivals in this disjoint intervals continue to be independent ok. So, if I give you some interval here and some other interval here, the number of arrivals in those intervals are independent random variables ok. And of course, SIP is not satisfied 
correct because the number of arrivals in any interval is now not just a function of the width of the interval if you move it around this lambda t will also change correct. So, if you move into a, a, a territory where this lambda t is big or small you will get more arrivals or less arrivals respectively right. So, S i p does not hold right. does not hold in general ok. <coughs> so, it is a independent Bernoulli increment process, it is, but it is not an identically distributed increment process ok. The they are all Bernoullis in these small small time slots, but the probability of the Bernoulli showing up uh, I mean the arrival showing up is not identically distributed across these intervals ok. It depends on what t you are looking at ok. Is the definition clear? <coughs> now, this is like uh, I mean you can argue similarly to the homogeneous case. Uh, and still should get a pause on PMF for the distribution of n of t ok. Uh, it is similar to the, the limiting argument that you made for the homogeneous case except now you have to this uh, probability p of having an arrival in any slot is lambda t times little delta right. Uh, and this uh, I mean you have to do the uh, math a little more carefully uh, it is done in your book uh, bottom line is that it is not in essentially two different from the uh, you know of the derivation for the homogeneous process. Uh, so, what you get is that uh, if you look at probability that n of t equal to n will turn out to be Poisson distributed with parameter uh, m t. So, it will be m t to the n. So, e to the minus m t by uh, n factorial where m t is the running integral of lambda ok, integral 0 to t lambda s d s ok. In the homogeneous case m of t is simply m of t, m of t is simply lambda times t correct and uh, you can uh, likewise you will get this also you can get n tilde uh, t 1 t 2 equal to n will also be a was on a similar sort of an argument you will get m of t 1 t 2 uh, whole to the n e to the minus m t 1 t 2 by n factorial where m of t 1 t 2 is equal to integral t 1 to t 2 lambda of s t s ok. So, the way you prove this as I said it is easier to consider a non uniform breaking of the time interval. So, the way I have defined it I have kept the delta to be constant and the probability of an arrival is a function of lambda t is a function of time right. Whereas, you can make this lambda t times delta to be some probability p ok call lambda time lambda t times delta to be some p ok. Then <coughs> this delta will become the width of the interval will simply become what p over lambda t right because <coughs> lambda t delta is I am calling it p. So, the width of the interval delta will simply become correct p by p over lambda right and I am assuming this is why I am assuming lambda t is bigger than 0. Now, you see why I am assuming lambda t is bigger than 0 right. Um, then uh, it is a sum of Bernoulli's ok. It, then you have a whole bunch of Bernoulli's in which the width of the intervals are varying inversely as lambda t. So, these, these intervals will be wider when lambda t is smaller ok and the width of the interval will be smaller when lambda t is higher to so as to keep the probability of an arrival in any of these intervals the same 
okay. Of course, the total number of arrivals will now be a sum of a bunch of Bernoullis which is a binomial. So, you can write out the binomial formula and limit these intervals to 0 appropriately and you will get this Poisson, uh, Poisson distribution, okay. I think it is uh, I mean it is not an, a greatly insightful exercise. Uh, so, uh, perhaps it is not so meaningful to spend uh, class time on it, okay. Uh, I, I hope it is uh, what I am talking about is clear, right. So, this is generalizes a homogeneous Poisson process, okay, uh, where uh, lambda t in a homogeneous case lambda t is simply equal to lambda, okay. Now, uh, so that is the small module on uh, non-homogeneous Poisson process. Uh, 